Hey ladies, morning to you. So I was talking with, you know, some wives today. Wives for many years. And, you know, they said to me, you know, they kept it real that they're, they're good marriages. And they said one of the fundamental flaws, though, in relationships, as the marriage grows old. When I say grows old, that in terms of the number of years being married, is that the woman seemed to be growing old, leaving the man. So what they do the man comes home he sees quite a number of beautiful women at work perhaps on the road and then he comes home and he sees almost like one of the back in the day type grandmothers no disrespect to them because you know i love the elderly you dress very old your clothes is torn it's filled with a lot of gunshot holes or mosquito bite holes like you want if ants eating up your clothes the duster the nighty, the old fashioned nighties. Your hair is unkempt, it looks terrible, picky picky. It has a fine pepper grain, like you're looking at Scotch, you know, the Scotch Bright um, thing there. Or the wire wire ones, I don't remember the name of it. Your face oily and greasy, like dumpling and butter, butter and dumpling, whichever way. It looks really bad. You know, your breath probably is not fresh, you're not so fresh, you know, and. You probably look miserable. You grumble and complain. So everything turns the man off. So even if he, let us say his gun cannot fire properly for the day or for the moment because he's super tired or not necessarily in that mood or in that mood. By coming home and looking at something beautiful, remember men are wired differently. We all use our senses differently. Men are moved generally, predominantly by what they see women predominantly are moved by what they hear and how you make them how they're made to be how they how you make them feel how the man makes them feel so that is why if a man tells a woman something she remembers it she mullers over it she thinks on it she meditates on it well the man may not so you have to really be like a jezebel for him to remember all of those things but he's moved by something that he sees that triggers him differently so he doesn't want to come home. Yes, the, the night is has waned. What many of you probably need to do, even if you don't have to go and look for something very expensive, but make sure you look for something that is, you know, fairly moderate in, and looks nice, even your nightwear. Let it be sexy. It, it doesn't always have to be like a lingerie situation, but have few of those. Have the nice uh, pajama and the, you know, the, what you'd call nighty set. Do away with the dusters and the old time looking nighties. That you would see your grandmother and great grand and great 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 grandmother wear. Do away with those. I'm not saying that sometimes you can't put your hair in rollers or whatever. Maybe some nights don't bother do that. Maybe wrap it, you know, or something of the sort. Because obviously you don't want your hair to pull up and, and, and whatnot. Make your face, you can don't make your face look greasy. There are good products out there that you use at nights. You keep your face moisturized, not oily and greasy not oily and greasy i'm not expecting every night to be perfect but for the most part he comes home and he's like he's looking at his great grandmother great great grandmother and so on and it's going to turn him off you're actually adding more coals on the fire for him to go out and cheat i'm not i'm saying this you know because I, this this is coming from women who are basically in solid marriages not perfect like they kept it real with me you know, they say, these are people that I've known for many, many years, older than I am. But, you know, they kept it real. One lady said she was just doing a little thing with her husband and like she had on a torn up, torn up duster. But she had on a laundry underneath. She, you know, had the thing set out. And when he came in, as him, out, him, it's like he was flabbergasted. Oh, what kind of stuff that you have on? Blah, 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 blah. And then she said, the baby start ball. One hell of nothing went on that night. I love the way how she told me. I mean, I, it was so funny. You know, and I said to myself, my God, men are really triggered by what they see. You'll, you'll notice how a man can, you, you, you wonder how him spot out, you know, don't your undergarments, what you have on. Like they see, because that's how they're triggered, they're going to look. You cannot stop a man from looking. Married, single, disengaged, divorced or not, they're, you're not going to st stop them from looking. They're going to look, whether they're on the straight or not, or they're not. They're going to look. So wives, I'm saying, mitigate all the problems that can happen. Men are moved by what they see. 
just as how you're moved by how the man treats you. You notice um, God used Peter and said to the husbands, be gentle with your wives. Speak to them gently. Treat them gently. Because we know we're moved by what we hear and how you make us feel generally. So the two of us are not moved by it. doesn't mean that your, your eyesight not working or you don't. But we're not generally stimulated that way. We're stimulated by what we hear. We're stimulated by how the man makes us feel. And the man is stimulated by what he sees. He wants to know that what you need to do is, you know, even if he goes and him start to look a little bit too long at another woman, you know, right away him trigger and say, you know, my wife look good, you know. She look good, yes. But my wife look good or even better. Even if you don't look better than her, even if you're not, you don't look. But you, you let him say, he could have shaped like hippopotamus, he could have shaped like an elephant, a gorilla, a lion, a tiger, a bear or a cockroach. Fix up yourself to the best of your ability. I don't care how you shape it. Could have look shape like Lisa Hannah when she used to model. Even now when you see her, how she looks good. Look good women. Do all you can. He should do all he can to save his marriage. But I'm talking about us. You know? Fix up yourself. I'm not expecting you to dress in a ball gown every day. But um, I remember reading it in a book. And I remember going to a seminar and the lady said it. She said it before I read it in a book. Do not wear torn up and wash out looking clothes. Well, look bad color and stay bad. Look terrible. Looks awful. It looks almost, you know, I would say vitriolic. <laughs> it looks horrible. Horrid. Like you're in a horror show. Like you're starring in a horror show. And it has a lot of holes in it. Throw them away. You see the spirit, meaning the, 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 when I say spirit, I don't want to think of something. I'm th think, talking about something um, witchcraft. Like I'm talking about just the trans if you can understand the attitude of the clothes that how the clothes look will start to you'll start to look like the clothes it will seep into your system and then your life just goes on don't take the clothes the clothing lightly the apparel lightly you may think it's how it must have it does look at people who dress up in torn tattered old worn out that that are filled with a lot of holes clothes and look at how they look in their faces this, you can't tell they're twin. It's like you're looking at a twin, identical twin, not even they, def, um, they we call it fraternal or so. Twin, they look bad, they look horrible. And then it's like things just start to go awry for you financially, socially, spiritually. If the Bible said, hear me, the Bible, I was about to say the Bible said something that is not really scriptural, but if you look at the Bible and it talks about blessed are the blessed is a pure in heart for they shall see God, and you know, so they talk about cleanliness is next to godliness. It's not a scriptural saying, but there is a there's a it can be linked back to the scripture in a sense. So if you say cleanliness is next to godliness, if you're saying that, then you ought to carry yourself in such a manner. It's not only about your smell. That is key. It is better you smell good and kind of look so good than you smell bad and you look clean and so forth, you know, because the smell is very much, you know, important. However, the two have, they must work in tandem. You look good and you smell good women. I don't care if you're in your bed. Make your nighty look good. You get up in the morning, you wash your face, you brush your teeth, get yourselves together. You know, you have to take pride in yourself. You have to do it. I remember the late, great and esteemed, the eminent Cicely Tyson. When you see the young people looking at her and say, can I get that shirt? Can I get that shoes? Can I get that blow? In her 90s. Which, which, tell me when you ever see um, somebody in there, some 20 year year old, 30 year year old, 40 year year old um, asking or 50 year year old asking, asking an elderly lady for her clothes. The lady dressed to post photo right up till the day she died. In her makeup and looking good right through. As long as life lends you and you have health and strength. Dress up women. Dress up. Smell good and look good. Mitigate your husband going on. I'm not saying that that's the only reason. Some of you can look like Lisa Hannah. And he will still go. But I'm saying to mitigate it. Don't add more coals to the fire. Men like when you look good and carry yourself well. And be a lady. When you're going out, know when to be a lioness when it is necessary, but know when to be a, like a lamb when it is necessary. But dress up well, do away, throw away those old clothes, dash them and don't say, Lord, it comfort. No, get comfortable in some new, nice looking clothes as your yard clothes. Let the spirit of the clothes flow through you, so to speak. Let the attitude of the clothes flow through you. Look good, carry yourself well. You know, 
And I'm telling you from what these married women say to me, <laughs> some men I know. And I've been hearing this for years. Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this message.